the Senate Member Chagian, you you got the floor. As, as he's coming up, this says a, recommend, a support recommendation and no opposition. I'd like to move the That's bill. That's true. There we go. As long as the author is correct. All right, if he's fine with that. Okay. Uh, you have the floor. Thank you for your support. We have witnesses in favor of this. I would, and I would like my witnesses to follow my guidelines as uh, <laughs> as item only 20. questions if, if they need to. Well, let's we'll see if anybody opposes it. That's what we always got. We always have surprises sometimes. Mr. Chair and members, Cliff Cost on behalf of California New Car Dealers Association. We are the sponsor of the bill and we ask for your I vote. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Brooks Ellison on behalf of the California Tow Truck Association and the United Coalition for Motor Club Safety here in support. Okay. Uh, Jack Moladonoff on behalf of the California Auto Body Association and the Automotive Service Councils of California in support and thank the uh, assembly member for carrying the bill. And Mr. Chair, members, Tim Chang for the Auto Club of Southern California also in support. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any opposition? Uh, I don't see any other speakers in favor. Opposition, please, if there's none. And we have any questions? We have none. We have a motion. You have a close, close statement. Respectfully, I swear I would, sir. Okay, we'll call the roll, please. AB 2167, the motion is due pass. <coughs> Senators Bell? Aye. Bell, aye. Canella? Aye. Canella, aye. Allen? Aye. Allen, aye. Bates? Aye. Bates, aye. Gaines? Galgiani? Galgiani, aye. Leva? McGuire? Mendoza? Roth? Wachowski? Okay. That has five votes, and we'll wait for other members to cast the votes. We have uh, Assembly Member Chu, my local Assembly Member, my other local Assembly Member, Kansan Chu. You have the floor. Thank you very much, um, uh, Mr. Chair and Senators. I'm pleased to present AB 2322 a measure that would require the DMV to offer the recipient of an um, instruction, for, for an instruction driving permit with removable and transferable decal that reads student we have, driver. We have, a, we have a motion on this bill. Go ahead. ahead. Thank you very it's much. Signed. <laughs> uh, Mr. Chair and members, uh, Tim Chang for the Auto Club in Southern California. We do support the bill. Okay. Any questions? Any the other speakers in favor, please? Uh, do we have uh, opposition to this bill, please? Any oppositions? No? And we have a motion, so we'll close. That's a close. Thank you very much. I respectfully ask for your I vote. This bill was uh, originally brought to my attention by two of the 16 euros uh, drivers. One live in Sacramento, one live in my district. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, we'll call the roll, please. AB 2322, the motion is due pass and we refer to the Appropriations Committee. Senators Bell? Aye. Bell, aye. Canella? Aye. Canella, aye. Allen? Aye. Allen, aye. Bates? Aye. Bates, aye. Gaines? Galgiani? Galgiani, aye. Leva? McGuire? Mendoza? Roth? Wachowski? Okay, uh, we have Assemblymember Gatto. Thank you very much. We have uh, the floor. This is AB uh, 2586. Thank you. I'd like to start by stating that I'm accepting the amendments to remove the provisions relating to valets, and this should remove much, if not all, of the opposition to the bill. Uh, this bill would provide a modicum of fairness for uh, our citizens when they park on the streets. It's an appropriate function of our state's police power to step in when the well-being of citizens is at stake. Uh, we set floors all the time in the legislature. Uh, in terms of basic rights and basic things that uh, local governments cannot cross. We do that with elections, with law enforcement, with school districts, and this does it with parking. Uh, citizens all around the state, as you know, are hungry for these type of reforms. Um, I think this is a good bill for the people, and I respectfully ask for your eye vote. Okay, witnesses in favor, please. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, members, good afternoon. David Wolf with the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association in support of this bill. And Mr. Gatto's right, members, this really is a populist issue. Um, it's going to be a very good bill for taxpayers, especially regarding um, just the ongoing parking fees that are occurring in Los Angeles, um, where it's $165 million and $130 million in San Francisco city budget. Um, this is just a good bill. Um, um, for just taxpayers, especially in these big cities and up and down the state, ask for an I vote. Okay, thank you. Witnesses, please, in favor. 
Favor? Okay, uh, can we, we have opposition to this bill, please? Come forward, please. Yeah, may, may I have a seat? And welcome. Good afternoon, Chair Bell, members of the committee. My name is Randy Knott. I'm with the city of Sacramento. And unfortunately, with all due respect, we do not support this bill. We are in opposition. We appreciate the amendments removing the valet parking uh, issues. We don't operate that way in our city, so that helped to begin with. But street sweeping is the number one thing called out in this bill. When we have our hours of operation locally, we make sure that we not only do street sweeping, we pick up leaves for those of you who spend a lot of time up here that time of year. We put it, we install water meters, we do other road repair, and there really is no mechanism to allow us to inform people who are parking, and they may in fact increase the number of violations because it's not a set time frame. Additionally, you know, just there, there, we have waste recycling. We have so many things that go on in the street that we purposely coordinate, especially in mixed use areas where we have both businesses and homes operating. Uh, in addition, it, it talks about prohibiting local entities from offering incentives. That's something that's already in the California Vehicle Code. It is currently illegal. Importantly, as well, we have seen that there's a repeal in the bill on the there's on, of the 2017 sunset. Uh, clause and we've all, we're already operating this way when it comes to inoperable meters. This is not a money grab. This is ensuring that local governments can do important work in the right of way, inform our residents and visitors exactly what's going on, and short of putting on neon signs that we constantly change the times to, it's going to be very, very difficult for parking enforcement. Lastly, the state attorney general has determined that parking enforcement is a local government issue. Um, further, it's it, it actually in quotes, it's a commonly performed as a municipal function and can't be given to a private entity, uh, the way in which it's inferred. So we respectfully ask for your no vote. We'd be happy to work with the author on his specific concerns. We've worked with him on other parking bills and thank you for your time. Okay. Other witnesses, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members. Matthew Cyberling on behalf of the California Public Parking Association. Uh, not to belabor the points from the city of Sacramento, but uh, parking is a local issue, and there are uh, 225 different cities, municipalities, uh, university campuses, special districts represented by the California Public Parking Association. Each of those is unique. Each of those has constituencies that we serve, uh, try to, to meet the unique needs and, and uh, variables of those, those entities. Uh, so, so crafting a, a public policy at the state level to apply across the board to all these different entities, uh, we feel just doesn't work. Uh, we'd hope that, that, again, we could continue this discussion with the, with the author moving forward, uh, but at this time, ask for your no vote. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, people, opposition, right sure. back over there. Uh, good afternoon, Chair, members of the committee. Ronnie Berdugo here on behalf of the League of California Cities. Uh, we oppose the bill uh, unless it's uh, amended uh, some more. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the, bro the, the broken parking meters provision um, has only been in effect since 2014. Uh, we don't think enough time has elapsed to, uh, uh, to permanently delete the sunset on that particular provision. Uh, I think if the bill were limited to just a simple extension of that, of that provision, uh, I think we would go neutral, uh, but you know, this bill goes beyond that. So for that reason, uh, we remain opposed unless the bill gets amended. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chair, members, David Jones, on behalf of the cities of Marin and the city of San Marcos, uh, still philosophically opposed as parking should be a local control issue. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Chairman, members, Helene Meshar, on behalf of the city of West Hollywood. Uh, the city of West Hollywood is uh, removing its opposition from the bill. We oppose the bill on the valet parking issue. Um, yeah. We park something like 30,000 cars a year in uh, our 1.9 square miles of city and the valet parking was very important to us. And uh, with the removal of that uh, provision, uh, we uh, are withdrawing our opposition. Thank you. Okay, um, that's all the opposition. Um, questions from the committee? Uh, I generally thought that, uh, you know, although there's some problems with the cities, I think that uh, there's also a consumer need, I think, to identify what's right and what's wrong. I think this does that. So I recommend with the bill, with the amendment. So that's, that's, that's the reason why. You gotta protect the consumer, have some kind of 
under, the consumer has to understand things, and when they, uh, the bill does do that, and I think that's fair. It's a fair thing. So we have a motion. Any other questions? We'll call the roll, please. <clears throat> Unless you have a closing statement. Okay. Thank you. B 2586, the motion is due pass as amended and we refer to the Appropriations Committee. Senators Bell. Aye. Bell, aye. Canella. Aye. Canella, aye. Allen. Bates. Aye. Bates, aye. Gaines. Galgiani. Aye. Galgiani, aye. Leva. McGuire. <laughs> Mendoza. Roth. Wachowski. Four votes in favor, and uh, we'll wait for absent members, and thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Chair Frazier. As he's coming up, Mr. Chairman, this has a support support recommendation with no opposition. I'd like to move the bill. Um, Mr. Frazier, you have the floor. Respectfully ask for your I vote. Okay, the, there we go. My witness, <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm at quite a distance, uh, so if we could actually hear him. Witnesses, please. Yeah, that's good. You're good. Mr. Chairman, committee members, thank you for your time today. Today I'm here in support of Assembly Bill 2559 as amended. Tourism in California is extremely important to California economy and jobs. Tourism is the fifth largest employer in California, employing over one million people in 2015. Tourism generated $121 billion in direct travel-related spend in 2014, and 2015 is expected to be significantly higher. One of the most popular ways we market our destinations is the use of visitor centers to provide information to potential travelers in hopes they select our destination to spend a few days and visit surrounding attractions. Freeway signage is a vital tool which provides these potential travelers the awareness that visitor centers exist at that exit. Unfortunately, the existing code requires a visitor center to be located within 0.5 miles of the exit. This prerequisite is difficult to meet in many areas, including ours. In addition, typically land or space this close in proximity to the exit is typically typically comes at significantly higher costs, making it cost prohibitive to the nonprofits that operate these visitor centers. Changing the code to allow for the visitor center to be within two miles of the exit will greatly increase the number of destinations that will have the ability to request such signage. We support AB 2559 as amended and ask for an I vote. Thank you. Uh, other witnesses, please. Others? Uh, motion's been made. And do we have any questions from our committee members? Do you have a close? Jim? Respectfully ask your I vote. Okay, thank you. Call the roll, please. AB 2559, the motion is due pass and we refer to the Appropriations Committee. Senator Spell? Aye. Bell, aye. Canella? Aye. Canella, aye. Allen? Aye. Allen, aye. Bates? Aye. Bates, aye. Gaines? Galgiani? Leva? McGuire? Mendoza? Ross? Wachowski? Okay, thank you. I have four votes in favor, and we'll thank you, wait for members. members to vote. Thank you. And we have Assembly Member Garcia here. You have the floor. Right. Assembly Member, you have the floor. This is for, uh, I'll call him up for a, item 32, AB uh, 2715, and he has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members. AB 2715 would require the Department of Community Services and Development to develop and administer the Agricultural Worker Energy Efficient Housing Program. The bill ensures that farm workers who own their home are reached and provided with economic tools to retrofit their homes to increase energy efficiency. Uh, it would specifically uh, focus on weatherizing homes, replacement of energy efficient appliances with Energy Star certified appliances, installation of photovoltaic solar panels, solar water heating systems, replacement of lighting and light emitting, uh, commonly known as LED lighting. Uh, respectfully ask for your I vote. Uh, it has received bipartisan support in previous committees. Thank you. Okay, we have witnesses in favor. My name is uh, Mr. Chair. My name is Marco Lizarraga. I'm the Executive Director of La Cooperativa Campesina in the state of California. We're a, uh, an association of federally designated agencies serving the farm worker in the state of California. Um, this le legislation will ensure the farm workers who are not being reached currently, their homes will receive extensive weatherization, solar panels, and battery backups as well as other efficiency measures needed to reduce their electrical consumption to virtually zero. This would greatly reduce 
the greenhouse emissions by these households and significantly, significantly increase their disposable income. Yeah, thank you. I respectfully ask uh, for an I vote. Okay. Um, how about other witnesses in favor? How about witnesses opposing? Any opposing this bill? bill? We have a motion on this bill. We have any questions? And I see none. And you have a close? Respectfully ask for your I vote. Okay. Good bill. Let's uh, vote, please. AB 2715, the motion is due pass and we refer to the Appropriations Committee. Senator Spell? Aye. Spell Aye. Canella? Aye. Canella Aye. Allen? Aye. Allen Aye. Bates? Gaines? Galgiani? Leva? McGuire? Mendoza? Roth? Aye. Roth Aye. Wachowski? Okay, we have four zero and we'll wait till other members uh, attend. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, at this point, members, we have three authors. Uh, I don't see any of them, so. No, we already did his bill, yeah. So we need some authors. We have three left. We have uh, Alejo, Assembly Member Alejo, Assembly Member Chu, and Assembly Member Patterson. Okay, those three. Right. So it takes the work.